Hello. My name is Dorothy McFadden. I am one of the registered dietitians that works at St. Luke's Allentown with the bariatric program. Today I'm going to talk to you about hydration. Fluids, water, hydration, how much do you need? You can go by the replacement approach, which is the average fluid loss through urine, which is about one and a half liters. And then you also lose about another liter through breathing, sweating, and having bowel movements. If you consume two liters per day and also eat a varied diet, which will give you about 20% fluid, you should be able to meet your needs. An example of a food that's going to give you fluid would be an, an orange, which gives you about 85% fluid by weight. You can also just drink eight eight ounce glasses of water per day, or 64 ounces, which equals 1.9 liters. Or you can just trust your body, doing an overall intake. For instance, if you drink to quench your thirst, and you produce colorless or slightly yellow urine, and you feel well, then you are probably hydrated. What influences your hydration needs? Well, first off, if you exercise, you will sweat, and as a result, you will lose water you will need to replenish the fluid lost. Your environment, if it's hot and humid, you will need to drink more fluid. If it's cold outside and you're in a heated, dry, indoor environment, you will need more fluid intake. Certain illnesses or health conditions will require you to hydrate more. For instance, if you're having a lot of vomiting or diarrhea. And thirst is not always a good indicator of fluid need. As we age, our sense of thirst diminishes. Many people are confused between hunger and thirst and eat instead of drinking when they are thirsty. And during exercise, it's very important to replenish your fluid intake before you actually feel thirsty. So what are your fluid needs during exercise? Well, for every pound that you lose, you should drink two cups of fluid to replete your hydration needs. Weigh yourself before and after exercise. The average person will drink about two-thirds of their needs by thirst, which means one-third of your needs are not being met if you just drink to thirst after exercise. And inadequate hydration will contribute to poor performance, weakness, and possibly heat exhaustion. If you're going to have an intensive training event or participate in a competitive event, it's important to drink 16 ounces two hours before the event. This will allow time for you to process the fluid and a chance to eliminate fluids prior to the event. Drink four to eight ounces of a sports drink five to ten minutes before the start. During intensive training or a competitive event, you should drink eight to ten ounces of fluid every 15 to 20 minutes. Drink your fluids early, meaning drink before you feel thirsty to prevent dehydration. Practice high volume drinking during training so that you can tolerate high volume drinking during the competitive event. Drink water before exercising and use sports drinks during competition if the event is longer than 60 to 90 minutes. Generally, if you're going to be in a competitive event that's 60 minutes or less, you will not need to do hydration with a sports drink. Dehydration. Well, your body is made up of 60 to 70 percent water. Every system in your body depends on water for normal functioning. Even mild dehydration by 1 to 2 percent can sap your energy and make you feel tired or lethargic. Symptoms of dehydration, excessive thirst, fatigue, headache, dry mouth, little urination or very dark urine, muscle weakness or heaviness of your limbs, dizziness and lightheadedness. How should you hydrate? Well, water is the best. If you do not like water, then you can do artificially sweetened teas, lemonades, or artificially sweetened waters that don't contain um, calories. You can also use non-fat or 1% milk, but you have to allow for the calorie content of the milk, which generally is 90 to 110 calories per 8 ounces. In summary, your goal is to get in 48 to 64 ounces of fluid a day. Your hydration needs do change, though. For instance, if you're exercising or if it's an extremely hot day, you will need to hydrate more. Make sure you sip fluids throughout the day continuously. Um, always drink your fluids between the meals and always follow the 30-60 minute rule. Thank you and have a great day.